Welcome to Biology My Passion. I am Saumya Harikrishna. Today we will discuss a small topic from cell the unit of life that is prokaryotes and eukaryotes. In the previous video we discussed the structure of nucleus in detail which is acting as the brain of the cell. Today we will see how the cells are different based on the presence of a proper nucleus or in its absence. So we know usually when we see a cell, whether it is a plant cell or an animal cell, we see a nucleus in the center or to the side in the case of plant cell. Nucleus has got two membranes also to define it, right? But there are certain organisms like bacteria or blue-green algae, which are otherwise called cyanobacteria. They do not have a well-defined nucleus. So what do you mean by well-defined nucleus? Defined by a membrane is well defined, but if that membrane is absent, undefined, right? Because the contents can diffuse. If there is a membrane only, the contents will be enclosed with it. But in the absence of a membrane, the content can diffuse out. So that condition is there in the bacteria and that is called a nucleoid, undefined region or without a membrane. Chromosome should be there, right? So that chromosome is there in one part of the cell but there is no membrane enclosing it. Such organisms are called a prokaryotes. Karyo means what? Nucleus. Pro means a primitive. Okay, so they are simplest forms. They, or, they were the first life originated. Okay, so they did not have proper nucleus. But from them later evolved a eukaryotes. Karyo again means a nucleus. U means true. Because later the nucleus developed a membrane around it to define its functions. So that developed into eukaryote. Now, that is the first difference or fundamental difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Then other differences. Since there is no membrane bound nucleus, other membrane bound structures are also absent in cell which are called as cell organelles. Whereas in eukaryotes all membrane bound cell organelles are present. Single chromosome is present in case of bacteria whereas many chromosomes are present in the case of eukaryotes. Then small cell, they are comparatively smaller in size whereas eukaryotic cells are larger in size. So this is a very important question for you, differentiate between prokaryotes and eukaryotes or you should know the features of these prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells very well. Let us see the third part that is cytoplasm. So if you observe a plant cell like onion cell or an animal cell, you can see a large region is less stained because we use stains for coloring the parts but this region or the large region seems to be colorless that is a fluid region enclosed by the plasma membrane and that is called a cytoplasm in the cytoplasm there are several compartments or functional units they are called a what cell organelles cell organelles carry out or perform various functions of the cell Usually cell organelles are membrane bound. That means they all have their own membranes similar to plasma membrane. But when it comes to prokaryotes, we know prokaryotes do not have nuclear membrane. So they lack or they do not have other membrane bound structures also. But eukaryotic cells have membrane bound cell organelles. So is there any significance for the membranes? Yes. The membrane is limiting or uh, defining the functional property of that particular region. Uh, for example, in the case of viruses, they do not have any uh, compartmentalization or membranes. Their body consists of only one protein code and one DNA or RNA inside. So we don't consider them as living because they don't show any characteristics of living until and unless they infect a living organism. Okay, so membrane bound organelles are there in all prokaryotic as well as eukaryotic cells or rather all living cells. We will discuss cell organelles in detail in the coming chapters. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel, Biology My Passion.